ladies and gentlemen, many things in this year are going as planned, not, not going not as planned. We had originally planned to meet in Bonn, and I'm really pleased that we can meet virtually despite the, the changed uh, circumstances. The, the coronavirus pandemic has been dominating our political agenda for more than six months now, and it poses really huge challenges for the world. But there are also other crises requiring uh, immediate action, particularly the climate crisis. Both crises remind us just how vulnerable our society is. More than ever, we need a joint, we need ambitious efforts in climate action at, at local, at regional, at national and at, at international level. Cities have a key role to play in the climate crisis, just as they do in the coronavirus crisis. Cities have been particularly hard hit by the effects of the coronavirus crisis. Crowded public spaces and close to living quarters help the coronavirus to spread more rapidly. And cities are particularly affected by the impacts of the climate change. Cities are becoming warmer than the regions around them, and it is often four to six degrees hotter in large cities. And, and coastal cities around the world are, are threatened by rising sea levels and floodings, and this will affect, will affect around uh, 800 million people by 2050. I think that is really a hard number. But but cities are also the main battleground for the fight uh, against the climate uh, change. Uh, cities are, are drivers of innovation. They generate 80% of the global gross domestic uh, product. And at the same time, they are responsible for about 75% uh, of the global T CO2 emissions and for about two-thirds of global resources and energy consumption. The goal now is for the goal now is to use the economic recovery in the wake of the coronavirus crisis for greater for greater climate action. Cities can become the key to to overcome uh, both crises. This requires national governments and regional levels to work together with cities. And the current report of the Coalition for the Urban Transition concludes that. 80% of urban emissions up to 2050 can only be eliminated through effective cooperation uh, between the different levels. Subnational governments are often already uh, uh, taking the lead with um, daring concepts. To, to give an example, more than 10,000 cities around the world have already set emission reduction targets and draw up uh, uh, binding uh, climate plans. They are promoting cycling, public transport and e-mobility and planning uh, climate-friendly uh, cities with, with more green uh, spaces in the cities. Cities need daring national governments that invest in, in climate-friendly and, and green recovery. In Germany, we, we are on the right track. Uh, firstly, the government uh, adopted the Climate Action Programme 2030. Uh, it includes support and relief measures with a volume of uh, 54 billion euros uh, until, until 2023, um, 2023 alone. And secondly, the German government adopted a Climate Change Act, uh, which stipulates a commitment to climate action in all areas uh, of the economy and the society. And third, we have aligned our COVID-19 uh, economic recovery package with climate action. And we are focusing on the municipalities uh, in particular. Uh, the German government is making an additional 100 million euros available to enable municipalities to, to implement climate uh, measures despite the financial pressure uh, of the coronavirus pandemic. So the German economic stimulus package is backed by the European Green Deal at EU level. The, in the EU, EU we, are, we have resolved to become climate neutral by 2050. Um, the, currently discussing and we are currently discussing an increase uh, in our 2030 uh, climate target 
the theme of the German Council presidency, together for Europe's recovery, is, is driving the agenda. Europe must become stronger, fairer, and more sustainable. And ladies and gentlemen, the coronavirus has made one thing very clear, global crises, crises uh, demand global response. And this is why the Federal Environment Ministry is uh, also involved in different initiatives uh, at international level. Uh, one example is, and I just want to point out one example, uh, the, the uh, City Climate Finance Gap, which was launched uh, two weeks ago by the Federal Environment Ministry together with the Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development with Luxembourg and the Global uh, Government of uh, Mayors. The GAP for, uh, Fund supports cities in the early phase of uh, developing climate-friendly uh, infrastructure um, projects. It is being implemented by the World Bank and the European Investment Bank with a budget at, uh, uh, of at least uh, 55 million euros. And the GAP Fund is also part of the leadership for urban climate initiatives that the Federal Environment Ministry presents together with ICLAI and other partners uh, just last year at the UN uh, Climate Action Summit. The aim is to, to accelerate investments in climate action and, uh, to dare, and, and to dare to do more together in climate action. And this is a goal we share uh, with ICLAI, you know. So as ICLAI, you make an indispensable contribution to progress and climate action in cities around the world. And I'm very grateful for your remarkable work. And please continue to...